Hey guys, Stephanie here. Sound a little nasally. Oh my gosh, got my son's cold. It's the worst. Okay, so this election is a complete fucking joke. We all know that Trump won by a landslide. And then all of a sudden, you have... Well, this just tells you how deep it runs. Okay? In Georgia... Okay, a day ago, anyone in Georgia, Team Joe needs people to go door to door helping voters fix their mail in ballots so they count. So now Georgia has a curing ballot. So now they're going to take any ballot that was wrong or didn't go through or blank in an area. They're going to go take it and find the person to have them fix it. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Since when do we have an election? To where we have people going door to door after the election saying, oh, ma'am, you left this blank. No, nobody. It's not because Trump lost. It's because Biden lost. And these people can only do anything but cheat and lie. And the media goes with it. And then you have like, you know, Antifa and Black Lives Matter and all those people out there. Like, you know, telling, you know, Trump they're going to riot, do this. And, you know, if Trump doesn't give it to Biden, are you kidding me? Like, do you think America's that dumb? We're all watching this. This is, like, unreal. Like, seriously? So y'all are just going to have Team Joe people take the ballots and cure them? And then in California, they're doing the same thing, too. So when is the election? Because we just had the election and everything they're doing is counterproductive here. Basically, the Dems are going to keep counting votes until they get as many as they want. And we're all seeing them, um, you know, blackout windows and people throwing away ballots, people setting them on fire. I mean, my God. This is our country. And then I was even more shocked to find out that Oregon decriminalized heroin, meth, cocaine. Oh my God, you guys. I say so they're decriminalizing all, you know, narcotic street drugs. So you know how Joe uh, Biden keeps saying, you know, no, people don't need to go to prison, they need to go to rehab. Well, so you have this homeless epidemic in Oregon. And you have, like, all these other crazy things going on there. So you're going to legalize this stuff. Okay. Well, how many functioning heroin addicts do you know that can, like, you know, keep down a job that can support their habit? Duh. <laughs> so then you're going to have more crime, more homelessness, more drug use. And what are they going to do for it? They'll come to the rescue. And guess what they're going to come out with? State-funded rehabilitation. Instead of putting them in jail and making it illegal, the government just found another way to grow a bigger government and create more of a drug problem by decriminalizing it, which is basically enabling it. And then you're going to create a whole problem of addicts. Then you're going to come in and tell the taxpayers why we got to use such and such money to rehabilitate these people. So... Basically, the crime will go up, you'll have prostitution, all this crazy stuff going on because everything's legal, you know, why not? It's a damn city anyway. And then you're going to have all these people strung out and they're like, oh, well, they're creating crime. It's because they're on drugs. So we, we need to rehabilitate people. Oh my God. And I already see a way they're going on the mainstream news too with a lot of this crap that's going on with like the lockdowns and like people like saying conspiracy theorists. Notice how all these drug commercials are coming out for schizophrenia. Are you sure people have schizophrenia or you're just trying to manipulate their reality? That seems more like it. You people are narcissistic sociopaths. I swear to God. It is so freaking evil and demonic and disgusting. And everybody needs to for real pray for our president and his family because he's the only one. Keeping us from those crazies. Look at the, look at what lengths they're going to, to get Trump out.
what what are they what are they doing this so badly for what was their goal when hillary was supposed to be in there that's what people need to start seeing you see the bias you see the pure hatred for our president but they liked him before it's because he's not going with their agenda and what you think is better and faster internet and equality and gender respect and all this other bullshit. It's just to keep your mind busy and distracted from what's over here. You know how like when your mom would drop you off at your babysitters or something and your babysitter would be like, oh my God, come here, let me show you something. And your mom would sneak off and go to work. Well, that's exactly what the Democrats do, okay? They're evil and they lie and they manipulate and everything they're blaming on Trump, they're the actual ones doing it. They're narcissists. They gaslight cognitive dissonance, the triangulation. They do the projection, stonewalling, basically just completely ignore everything and come back to it later like nothing happened. And they create the chaos so they can come in and fix it. They self-sabotage everything. They're very destructive people and they can't be honest and they have no empathy or compassion. So Republicans need to understand that there is no reasoning with these people. They don't, they don't even respect a baby born after they, I mean, a baby's born. They don't even respect it. They still will kill the baby after birth. What makes you think they care about you and your kids or what's in a vaccine? They don't. And the more you open your eyes to realize like how abusive part of our government is, and how they've abused their rights. They've abused our rights. I mean, it's just insane what these people have gotten away with. And nobody's doing shit. Except the radicals keep pushing. And the Republicans are just like, I don't know. I'm just going to sit here on Twitter and talk shit. But I'm really not going to do anything. I mean, that's basically what it comes down to. And it's kind of really freaking annoying. Like, all you people on Twitter and all the social media, like... Don't sit there and bitch when you know you won't do anything about it or you will agree and comply if they came in your face. And in um, Whitmer, where is she? Michigan, they're already doing contract chase, contract tracing. You know, people wake up. They're opening isolation centers. The COVID is making a comeback. The economy is about to collapse and we are on the brink of something serious happening. Because if you think these sociopaths have been trying to take down Trump for how many years now? And they're just going to be like, okay, we're just going to let it go. Hell no. They're just going to keep coming harder and harder and harder and harder because they want us to break. We're being punished for saying no to them and not obeying and not turning our eyes the other way to the corruption and the lies don't fall for it because right now you could be on the other end, not just conservatives, not just Republicans. It could be all, all of us basically are going to face the same fate and you do not want communism, period. All right. Hit that like, subscribe and share. Love you guys. Bye.